Hi, my name is Sherry Huber, and I am a student and teacher of Zen Awareness Practice, have been for about the last 40 years. So one of the things that the Buddha taught that uh, has most informed Buddhist practice throughout the centuries is that what we think, what goes on in our mind, makes our life, makes the reality that we live in. And the, the tool that he left us to attempt to take us out of the conditioned patterns of thinking, uh, the karmically conditioned patterns of thinking that we uh, tend to live in is meditation. And so what meditation does is enable us to get out of that and get here where life is actually happening. And here there is no suffering. So it's very uh, helpful and important for us to get into this here now where life is actually unfolding as life truly is. So over the years, uh, I've, I have found that it's been very difficult actually for most people to do a meditation practice. It's challenging to go up against all that negativity in the head, not only our own head, but everybody else's head, um, in order to to get back here. So the tool that we've developed to assist people to learn to redirect the attention, which is the key element of this, redirect the attention away from what's going on inside our head, that negativity, that negative self-talk, uh, and to get back here is what we call recording and listening. Uh, it's a very simple process um, of basically using the same thing that conditioned mind uses to cause us to suffer, which is a constant negative conversation. We are creating a conversation that we are listening to that is true and real and accurate and here, and we're learning to direct our attention to that instead of the alternative. So uh, reassurances are a subset of recording and listening. Reassurances are essentially a yes you can attitude. It's, it's your authentic nature reassuring the human being that yes, you can do this. And so we listen to those reassurances, again, to bring us back here and into the uh, positive that is actually our life. So the primary uh, approach to this is at least to begin with, is to make recordings about what you love, what makes you happy, what you, uh, what you care about, what you're grateful for, uh, what, what you appreciate in life. Make those recordings which tend to bring us back to here, out of that negative conversation and into the moment where we are, and we listen to those until we train ourselves to live here instead of there. So that's the, uh, that's the basic premise. Uh, people will ask me, how, how, how long do I have to listen? I say to them, listen all the time. It, it, the quality of your life is determined by the focus of your attention. If our attention is on negativity, we suffer. If our attention is here in the present, in what's actually happening in our lives, we don't suffer. And so how much do we do this? Depends on how much we don't want to suffer. <laughs>